DDG announced his and Holly Bailey breakup last week, and ever since then, he's been going on press runs. He said in the breakup letter, Dear friends and supporters, after much reflection and heartfelt conversation, Haley and I have decided to go our separate ways. This decision was not easy, but we believe it's the best path forward for both of us. I cherish the times we spent together and the love we shared. Despite the changes in our relationship, our love for each other remains deep and true. We are still best friends and adore each other. As we focus on our individual journey and our roles as co-parenting, we cherish the bond we've built and the beautiful moments we've shared. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your understanding and support. Thank you for your love and engagement, DDG. Like I said, right after this damn breakup letter, he's been going on press tours all around, up and down social media. Oh, I'm going to give y'all a backstory. So I've announced me and Hallie have split, right? It's life. It happens, right? She's still family. I love her to death no matter what. Everything's still good. Never know what the future holds. Anything else past that statement is nobody else's business. I see people keep Definitely. creating... They keep creating uh, stories, timelines. No one was wrong in the situation. Nobody came on and said he did this, she did that. No. Me and Hallie are family. We good. Just taking a little break. Don't know what can happen in the future. That's none of y'all business past that statement, but y'all keep going. Let me say so something not, about that, too. Yeah, go ahead. People be feeling like they know what's going on in, like, your life and what you got going on, can you film it, or just because they pin pieces together, but you don't really know. Like, you don't know the full effect, and you don't know what people really going through. You don't know what's really happening. You don't know what people working on, so stop coming up with... I personally think that people just personally pick on me. That's really what it is. People, like, specifically pick on me because for a long time, people feel like I didn't belong and like the industry or the music industry and this and that. That's what I feel like, especially me being with Hallie, that's, she's just, she's a superstar. She's the greatest ever. Being around her, I feel like it made a lot of people side eye me because they had already had, you know, she a princess. So they already had they mind set up about her and they look at me and I don't fit that image, but it's cool. It's a reason why she stayed with me. Damage. It's a reason why we had a child together. It's a reason why all of this happened. Like, me and Hallie are forever family. Forever. I will Swiss cheese your granny. I don't care if she's 100. I will Swiss cheese your granny over Hallie. And that's just what it is. This is already planned before whatever y'all talking about in the comments right now. So I don't want to hear it. But, uh... It's the first, it's be actually, cool. to be honest, this is the first time we recording doing something like that. Real, for real. Stop asking me questions about something I already clarified. Go read the Instagram story that everybody posted. Well, here's what Joe Budden had to say. I think what Joe Budden said is what everybody else was thinking. Well, I can't speak for everybody else, but that's what I was thinking about DDG. Like... Who are you? Who the f is DDG? <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything? Oh, I'm very God. happy that they have broken up, so I don't get to keep seeing this name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him for nothing as a standalone. And for me, it's important to know people based off their own name and merit and what they have done. Every I don't time I see his name, it's attached to hers, and it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. So that makes me look at him a different way, and hopefully I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken. Well, she's up. extremely high profile. She's high profile. Very so. high profile and very talented. And you but saying her head game is trash. Gonna go get their own account. Yeah, we figure it out. They nice. gonna go find out on their own, number one. And number two, if it was that trash, why you snatched that cherry so fast, my boy? <laughs> 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 I mean, if her head was as bad as you say, that cherry didn't levitate long. Before you got in action, DDG. I don't even know what that stands for. What does DDG stand for? 
Daryl Dwayne Granberry. Yo, your name, Granberry? <laughs> <laughs> know what my thing is with these that's <laughs> on the rise and they want to go get with the chick with some notoriety that's also on the rise. Salute, by the way. Whenever that relationship <laughs> fails, I never see them bounce back with something that's going to get Shorty upset. I normally nah. never hear from them again in the dating realm. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to ever hear about DDG and his next chick. I get, I'm, I'm on... Well, his chick before her, you, you know who she is. I don't. Who? Ruby. I'll talk your who, shit, DDG. Who, who, who was the chick before her? I'm afraid that we view that differently. And there was a whole lot going on with her where she was doing clout chasey shit to their relationship. Well, Ruby is a hustler and, and, and a business owner. Mm -hmm. Who was the young lady before her? I don't know. I'm just saying. That's what know. troubles me. That's what troubles me. Good luck, DDG. This will be your first and last time being mentioned on this broadcast <laughs> for the rest of eternity. Now, you know DDG had to come back and say something, right? But, Joe Budden. We got to get into that, man. We got to get into that Joe Budden. right there. Man, we got to get into that. You know, you know how this works, Joe Budden. So I don't want to cuss too much, but and say what I really want to say. But you don't really know who you talking to for real. And I don't even come on here on no like I ain't coming on here to say I'm gonna whoop your ass. I will. Whoop your ass. Don't get it. Fucked. I, shit out of you. But I ain't coming on here to say that. You feel me? Yeah. I'm coming on here to say you talking to a real social media legend. You talking to a real like somebody that put their family in position to win somebody that motivated your kids motivated your your family your nieces and nephews somebody that entertained them for years somebody that really put a stamp on in music i got way more accolades than you in music and i'm doing way better than you in life in general and i'm 26 and you're 44 44 i looked up i ain't gonna Man. lie i ain't gonna 44. lie I didn't even know who I didn't know who Joe Budden was until he sat next to academics. I ain't know who sure Joe God. Budden was till the Migos down there. You know what they did to him. Everybody know what the Migos did. That's the most I know about Joe Budden. And then he, I, when I looked him up today, I ain't know he made the pumping song. <laughs> like, oh, come on, man, that's what you hey, I tell lie. your yo I people was in the bro. car. I'm that nigga. No, I'm no, no. Pump it. no, no, no. I don't know what label he was signed to. They had that bitch on the radio, but you know where they had it at the most? Where? The trampoline parks. That's the only place I know you from. Because <laughs> I used to go to the trampoline parks and they used to play Pump It Up. No, nigga, no, you, no. Oh, my God. And he got, he got one, a cheerleader song. Cheerleader he song. He made a cheerleader <laughs> song. Pump, now, like, come on. Pump, like, pump it up. Like, pump, you be dancing to that pump, motherfucker pump with what? Pump it up. You went gold in 20 years. 20 years? It took you 20 years to go gold? Wait, what that mean? To get a gold, to get a gold record, you gotta sell 500,000 copies, right? Mind you, just to put it in perspective, I got three gold records and one double platinum. Mm. And mm. I ain't, I'm nowhere, this man is old enough to be my uncle, my pops. Like this is we an old man. OG, he OG. He's a, he's a, he ain't OG to me. You ain't get no respect for me, but he like an old dude, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, when I see shit like that, I'm like, damn, I ain't gonna lie. I looked up his accolades and it made me feel way better about myself. <laughs> Cause a lot of people be on me crazy, but these ain't even got plaques. Like this man has one plaque in his home, mm. one plaque. That's the only one he got? The only one he got. He been waiting at the mailbox for 20 years to you know, get No, I ain't gonna lie. He ain't had to go in on Joe like that. He ain't had to do all that. <laughs> But everybody is speculating and, you know, very concerned. Like, what was the reason? Why did they break up? A lot of people think it had to do with the whole Usher and the Cherry situation. Because, like, right after that, he announced the breakup. I personally don't believe it had anything to do with that. I don't know. Maybe that was the cherry on top. <laughs> But I think it has something to do with him, like, you know, displaying a baby online. And, you know, it's mean people online. And Holly is very private. So just knowing DDG personality, like, he really takes what he's doing serious. 
it's the whole pride thing to him, you know, because if it, if he didn't do what he was doing, like he wouldn't be the person that he is now. All the success that he has going on, like all the money, he's taking care of his family because of his success. And like she wants him to stop doing what he's doing. Like, uh, uh-uh, then you're going to have to go. Like, I really think that's what's going in his mind. You know, yeah, I'm just doing my conspiracy. Like, I, that's just what I think. A lot of people feel that like this is just clout chasing like he's coming out with a new album or a song whatever's going on with him and he's just trying to get a buzz going on because they have nobody heard yeah nobody heard from Bailey like there was no statement coming from her there was nothing but now that there's a video of Haley and her baby walking around like in a she was pushing her baby in the stroller like people just putting two and two together like yeah they probably broken up like there is no way she's walking around by herself pushing her baby in the stroller so but tell me what y'all think about this whole situation. Do you think it's just uh, like a publicity stunt because, you know, he has a new single coming out? Or do you feel like this is true? Like they are really over. But thank you guys for watching Sody Cakes. Hope you have a good day. Love you. Bye. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be decided. Still not understand.